Hello? Barack, did you hear? Enough electors from the Electoral College were faithful to me, so I got enough votes to be president. Yes, I heard. It's a shame I don't really want the job. What? What? What'd you just say? No problem. I'll call you back. Gotta go. <laughs> I just saw a movie with the most misleading title ever. What movie is that? Fantastic Breasts and Where to Find Them. It's Fantastic Beasts, not Breasts. Oh. I mean, some of the boobs weren't bad, but not fantastic. You know, man? I gotta go. Hey, Barack, I just wanted to reiterate that I believe you were born in this country. I was born in this country. Agreed. I'm calling you from Kenya. Gotcha. <laughs> hey, man. It's Michelle Yell going sick. God's sake, Donald. That's none of your business. Melania yells out something in Slovenian. Stavrazim day. I think it means, oh, God, you're an animal. I love it. I'm Googling it now. It means I hate you. Uh, I wonder who you is. Hello? Hey, Bear. I'm going to be hanging out in Mar-a-Lago over the holidays, so I don't think I'll be talking to you much until the new year. Okay. Donald, have a good one. You too, Bear. Any last words before the year end? Yes. Listen. You and I don't see eye to eye on a lot of things. I'm quite frankly doubtful you have the temperament to navigate the increasingly dangerous and ever-changing global landscape. Donald, I just hope that you rein in your explosive personality, the late night tweeting and all that, and please just use the traditional tools of diplomacy that are at your disposal. And Donald, I know you say America first, but I hope that means American people first, not just American corporate interests, okay? Donald, you hear me? Sorry, no. I got distracted by a really funny pop-up ad that had a squirrel hiding in the I kept pushing on it, trying to grab his nuts, but the little bastard kept grabbing it back. Barry, Barry, are you there? Hello? Hey, Barack. I gotta say, I don't know how you put up with all the criticism. The press has been tearing me apart. They're twisting my words and making it sound like an anti-terrorism bill is anti-Muslim. Donald, given the countries you signed out, it very much looks like you're targeting Muslims. That's ridiculous. If that was the case, I'd put whatever country you're from on the list. Donald, we've been through this. I was born in Hawaii. Hawaii. Okay, got it. I got another country for the list. Hello? Hey, Barack. How'd you like my speech at the National Prayer Breakfast? Hated it. You made a mean joke about Celebrity Apprentice at what was supposed to be an event for prayer. Are you kidding? Come on. I did great. I moved everyone to pray. Everyone there was on the knees yelling, please, God, save us. <laughs> hey, I, I'm trying to make my Valentine's Day plans. It's none of my business. Be a pal. Is there a romantic restaurant near here where I can get a table for two? I know this cute little French place. French? Nah. Vladimir prefers Italian. Hello? Hey, Bear. I hate to say it, but I'm completely rewriting the book on your failed foreign policies. To be frank, it seems like you're just continuing a lot of them. Sanctions on Iran, warning Israel not to build settlements, demanding Russia leave Crimea. Yeah, but Australia, we're going to hit those dingo lovers so hard, they'll think it's winter in the summer. Actually, they're in the southern hemisphere. They do have winter in the summer. No, I'm talking about nuclear winter. Jesus. <laughs> Hello? Have you seen me, Bear? It's been one executive order after another. Yeah, kind of odd you didn't approve of presidents issuing executive orders back when I was doing it. That's because I didn't know how much fun it was. I just thought it was making all Asian people Japanese. You can't do that. <laughs> Too late. Signed it. Sent in the Smithsonian. Bear, I'm so smart. Doesn't really seem like it. Get this. I put in three tweeting toilets in the White House. Tweeting toilets? Yeah, I always like to tweet while sitting on a toilet. But sometimes I want to tweet, but I don't have to drop a duke. So I just put these tweet toilets with no plumbing, no water, just toilets for me to sit on. And that's what you're on now? No, actually, I'm on a real toilet. I just went, oh, crap. I'm on a tweet toilet. Jared, get in here and clean this up. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Bear. What size should I put you down for? A medium? A large? Size for what? It's a thank you gift for being so nice to me during this transition. 
Oh, okay. Uh, fine. A large tent. Great. One large prostitute coming right up. No, no. Too late. She's on her way. Bye. Barack. So we ride in the limo together on Inauguration Day, right? That's the plan, yep. What are we going to talk about? I don't know. Yeah, me neither. It's going to be awkward. It doesn't have to be. Believe me, it's going to be awkward. What? Because I'm definitely hitting on Michelle. Goodbye. It's a compliment. She's hot. I'll grab her by the... Will the government provide me with translators? Of course. There's an entire division of the State Department dedicated to that. Good. I'm going to need that. You mean for trips abroad? No. Conversations with Melania. <laughs> Hello? You're enjoying your last few days in the White House? I am indeed. You're not going to, you know, do something to the mattress, are you? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Fake news. You mean, am I going to hire hookers to pee on the mattress that you're about to sleep on? Exactly. No, I'm not. Thank you. I don't have to. Joe Biden volunteered to do it for free. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Barack, it's me. Donald, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I know. I can't sleep. But when I can't sleep, that's when the dads come. Like what? Season 7 of Celebrity Apprentice, I fired Gilbert Godfrey instead of Gerardo. Even though the store window display, Gilbert did for his team with first class. I need a total home run. Donald, I, I think there's more important stuff you should have doubts about. You're right. Like, I can't stop wondering if Melania used to be a man. Her voice is lower than mine. I gotta go. Hello? Barack, if I die, who takes over as president? The vice president. Joe Biden? I hate that guy. No, not my vice president. Your vice president. Mike Pence. Oh, crap. That's, uh, I'm sorry. It'll be that Pence guy, not you. Bullshit, Daddy. Ah! Oh, I have awakened the beast. Gotta go. Ah! Hey, Barack, I'm trying to think of a nickname for my cabin. What's the word for a group of billionaires? I don't think there is one. Is it a herd of billionaires, a pride, a pod? <laughs> Donald, I really have a lot to do. How about a clan? You know what? Seeing who you're going with, yeah, clan is great. Thanks, Bear. Hey, Barry, the liberal media is saying I lost the popular vote. Well, that's true. You lost by three million votes. Yeah, okay. But if you don't got the people of color, or college-educated women, or California, it was a real landslide. But you do have to count those people. Not for long. <laughs> Get anyone to perform yet? Well... Still no luck, huh? I was hoping maybe you could... Put in a word with Beyonce? She's not going to do it. No, I was thinking about you. You rap, right? Don't all of you people rap? <laughs> hey, man. Want to know a secret? Sure. I'm actually a spy working for the Russian government. Is this your idea of a joke? <laughs> gotcha. I'm not really a spy. You didn't get me because I never believed you. Then I did get you because I really am a spy. I'm hanging up now. Not a spy. Spy. Monday, okay. spy. Tuesday, uh -huh. not a spy. I'm hanging up. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Thursdays, I'm a spy. Half the day and the second half, All I'm right, not a spy. All right, Donald, that's enough. That's enough. I'm a spy. I'm going. I'm not a spy. <laughs> Hello? You see my speech? Yeah. Home run, right? Parts of it were good. A great bunch of words. I said them all. Well, congrats, I guess. I did all the right words, just like my word guys wrote them. Yeah? Even the big words. I did all the words good, bad. Okay, Donald. The words were over there on that screen, but then they came out of my mouth there. It was like that. Yeah, that's called reading a teleprompter. 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 Teplecopter. Okay, bye. I'm the best at words. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Barack. I just got back from another incredible rally. Isn't it a little premature to campaign for re-election? People are already talking about impeachment. Yeah, but if I get impeached, think of all the time I'll have to campaign for 2020. That's not how it works. You have no idea how many times a day I hear that. Great news, Bear. I figured it out. You figured what out? How to turn this thing around. All I need is a catchphrase, like, you buy it. I think it's going to take more than a catchphrase. No, listen, tell me what you like best. You're deported. No. Nope. You're bad. Awful. You're revealed. Confusing. You're nuked. Terrifying. You're transgendered. No idea what that means. You're going to have to treat with me sooner or later. You're my wife. I'll give that a baby. Bear, I'm not going to the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Yeah, I heard. What's the matter? You can't take a joke? I can take a joke. Little Donnie's got thin skin? Stop calling me Little Donnie. Thin skin Donnie. <laughs> 
Come on, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're mean. Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself. You're the president of the United States. You're not nice. <laughs> Hello? Barack Nordstrom stopped carrying my daughter a Vunkers clothing line. Yeah, I heard about that. Can I declare war on Nordstrom? No. Can I invade Nordstrom? No. What about Nordstrom Rack? No. Can I tweet that Nordstrom can kiss my ass? Yes, but that's beneath you. Is it though? Good point. Hello? Hey, Barack, it's Donald J. Trump. Yeah, you, you don't need to say that. I know it's you. Wow, what's your problem? A little testy today. I'm tired of you calling me. You're obviously not taking any of my advice. I don't see what the point of these calls is. The point is, I consider you a friend now, Barack. I enjoy talking to you. Is that true? No, I have no human emotions. <laughs> Hello? Barack, it's me. Donald, you keep calling me. What do you want? The love I never got from my father. What? What? I mean, I want to destroy Iran. There, a new poll just came out showing I have a 98% approval rating. That's not what I'm hearing. Where did that poll come from? A very respected polling company. Who did they poll? A sample of anonymous Americans who were standing near me at the time and happened to be related to me. Well, that's not a legitimate poll. And, and why was it only 98%? The cat voted against me. I had him arrested for treason. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Barack, it's me. I'm working on my campaign slogan for 2020. That's premature. You're premature. Oh, God. Here's what I have so far. Say no to fake news. Say yes to fake boobs. What do you think? Hello? Hey, Barack, happy Black History Month. That's not really something you say. Oh, you don't celebrate? No one celebrates Black History Month. We just honor and remember great African Americans. Oh. What's wrong? Well, I just sent you a big ice cream cake that's a black Mount Rushmore. Jesus, Donald. Who's in the cake? MLK? Frederick Douglass? Nah, I went with four Shaquille O'Neal's. <laughs> Barack, it's Donald. You still on vacation? Yes. I'm on vacation, too. A 20-minute vacation from signing executive orders. That's not really a vacation. Then why am I in the Oval Office wearing nothing but flip-flops and a Speedo? I don't want to imagine that. You don't have to. I just texted you a picture. Please don't. Oh, God. I know. I should have crossed my legs. <laughs> hey, Bear, why are they calling Steve Bannon the man behind the curtain? Well, because he's a shadowy, seldom-seen figure believed to be driving a lot of decisions and holding a lot of power. Oh, well, that's not true at all. It's not? Hang up. Steve says I have to go. <laughs> Hello? Bear, it's me again. I'm on fire this week. Did you hear how I told Mexico's president if he can't get his bad hombres under control, we'll send in troops to clean up the mess ourselves? Pretty tough talk for a guy who's scared of stairs. Who told you that? I dare you to say that to my face. No problem. Why don't you meet me at the top of the Statue of Liberty? You son of a bitch. Hello? Hey, Barack, why do people keep saying such mean things about my pal, Steve Bannon? I think people are upset that you're giving him all these shady jobs in the administration. Hey, I pledge to create jobs. I just forgot to mention they'd all be for one guy. Goodbye, Donald. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm making him cake boss. <laughs> hey, Bear. Hi, Donald. What's up? Oh, not much. How are you? I'm fine, Donald. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. No travel problems lately? No. Really? When you and Michelle went to the Virgin Islands, you didn't have trouble getting back into the U.S.? Donald, I'm not a Muslim. Right. You must have pulled some strings. <laughs> Hello? Iraq, it's me. Got a tech? I guess. Great. When you were president, did you ever have an advisor that put an executive order on your desk and said, sign this, you dumb orange tool? No. Okay, me neither. Hey, Barack, did you hear I had a screening of Finding Dory in the White House Theater a couple of days ago? I heard about that, Donald, but I believe there are larger issues we should discuss. Oh, is this about all those executive orders I signed? Pretty cool, right? I don't think
think cool is the term I'd use. Steve's pretty cool to me. Bannon said that for every 10 papers I sign, I get to watch another cartoon. I don't even have to read them. I just sign them. Donald, that's incredibly irresponsible. You are... Oh, oh, oh. I just signed another dead during this phone call. It's going to be Wreck-It Ralph time tonight. <laughs> hey, Barack, did you hear I fired that lady lawyer? You mean you're acting attorney general? Yes, and a lot of people are upset. Well, they shouldn't be. Why is that? Because it's all just a setup for season three when we bring her back for a redemption challenge where she battles Ruth Bader Ginsburg and Mike Pence to see who gets the job back. Jesus Christ.